Today, Caillou was visiting the petting zoo with Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie. It's okay, Rosie. They're just sheep. Sheep are soft and friendly. You see? <laughs> Yuck! Go <Goat> kisses! <laughs> Caillou. Oh, you dropped your ice cream. It's okay, we can get you another one. It's not my ice cream, it's my nose. A greedy bee stung me. Oh dear, poor Caillou. Here, this will make you feel better. Why, why did it sting me, Mommy? Well, it probably thought you were trying to hurt it, Caillou. Uh, I did try and hit it. But it was trying to eat my ice cream. Caillou, you shouldn't try and hit bees. They're very special little creatures. Come on, let's follow him and see where he goes. Is that his house? That's right, Caillou. A bee's house is called a hive. A big house for just one little bee. Actually, thousands of bees live in there. Listen carefully and you can hear them. It sounds like an airplane. What are those ones doing? They're collecting nectar, which they use to make honey. Bees love sweet things. Like ice cream? Exactly. That bee didn't want to hurt you. It just wanted to share some of your ice cream. Bees should learn to say please. <laughs> Come on. I know something fun we can do to cheer you up. Look! A horsey! Almost, Caillou. That's a donkey. Ride the donkey? Sure you can! Whoa! This is high up! <laughs> Here! These will keep you safe! Hold on to your sister, Caillou. We don't want either of you falling off. strong to carry both of us. That's right. Donkeys may be small, but they are very strong. Like me. Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie on a very special trip to the zoo. Here we are. Caillou looked at the map of the zoo. He could see lots of pictures of all the different animals. Which animals do you want to go and see first, Caillou? Let's go and see the elephant. Great choice, Caillou. Where is it, Mommy? Caillou looked for the elephant, but he couldn't see it anywhere. <laughs> there it is! <laughs> Caillou liked the elephant. He especially liked the noise that it made. <laughs> Can we get a pet elephant? <laughs> I don't think we have room for an elephant at home, Caillou. They're much too big. Look! The mom 
Mommy and the Daddy Lion are sleeping. Would you like me to take your picture, Caillou? Yes, please. Say cheese. Help! Don't worry, Caillou. It's just a baby lion. I think he wants to play with you. <laughs> More! <laughs> I did it! Hi, I'm Linda. What's your name? I'm Caillou, and this is my sister, Rosie. Hello, Caillou. Hello, Rosie. Would you like to come and feed the monkeys with me? Yes, please. <laughs> Caillou was very excited. He'd never fed a monkey before. These monkeys love to eat fruit and vegetables. Why don't you and Rosie put some on that rock for them? Look! They're eating it! Hey! My hat! Monkey! They also love to play. <laughs> Caillou, come down from that tree. We have to go home soon. I'm down here, Daddy. That's just a monkey. Oh, there you are, Caillou. Look what I found, Caillou. It's an elephant. This one is just the right size to come and live at home with us. Caillou had loved his day at the zoo, and he was very happy to have his very own elephant to take home. Explorer Caillou and his friends were on a rescue mission to save Teddy. She's getting away! Faster, guys! Caillou, no catch Rosie! Rosie, too fast! Leo is struggling to keep his dinosaur under control. How do you steer these things? You guys look like you've got yourself in quite a tangle there. What have you been up to? Cave Girl Rosie has stolen Teddy. We are trying to catch her on our pet dinosaurs and save Teddy. Well, that does sound like quite the adventure, kids. You better get back to it. Sarah and Clementine wanted to catch up with Cave Girl Rosie to save Teddy. But they knew they had to think of a plan. I can see her going over the mountain past the clearing to the north. Maybe that's where her cave is. Nice spot, Clem. Let's draw out the island and we can figure out the best way to get to the cave. We're here. And the cave girl has escaped back to her cave on the other side of the mountain. To get there, we need to pass the quicksand lake and the river. We don't have to ride the dinosaurs again, do we? I think we should go on foot so we can sneak up and catch Ro- I mean, the cave girl. Let's go! The team of explorers came across some quicksand. Caillou thought this was going to be tricky, but Clementine had an idea. Then they 
crossed a river, which was very wide and very deep. Sarah spotted some stepping stones they could use to safely cross. and his explorer friends had finally arrived. They were so close to finishing their rescue mission. Cave girl Rosie was fast asleep, snuggled up to Teddy by the campfire of her cave. There she is! And there is Teddy! We need to move in slowly and quietly. We don't want to wake her. Leo! Leo, wait! I got him! Guys, I saved Teddy! <laughs> That's not good! Look! Caillou and his explorer friends rode through the jungle trying to get back home safe. Over the mountain, through the river, and across the quicksand. But the Gilbertosaurus Rex wouldn't stop chasing them. Then, Leo had an idea. You did it, Leo! The team of explorers had saved the day and rescued Teddy. It was time for them to rest up before their next adventure. Caillou and his family were on their way to Uncle Felix's farm. Caillou was very excited. I can't wait to see all the farm animals. Moo! <laughs> Quack! <laughs> Uncle Felix! Caillou gave Uncle Felix a big hug. He was very happy to see him. Howdy, Caillou. Great to finally have you all down on the farm. You ready to see some animals? I can't wait! There were lots of cute, fluffy sheep in the barn. Do you know what sound a sheep makes, Caillou? Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> That's right! Uncle Felix and Caillou gave the sheep some grain to eat. That one's so small! Can I touch it? Of course, Caillou, but be careful. It's only a baby. It's so soft! Next, Caillou saw some cows in the field outside the barn. The cow's nose is wet! Where are all the horses, Uncle Felix? I want to be a cowboy! Uncle Felix walked into the field and whistled. Right away, a horse galloped up to them. This is Harry. Harry the horse! Can I ride him? Caillou had never ridden a horse before. He jumped around pretending to be a horse. <laughs> sure you can, buddy. Perched safely on the horse, Caillou felt like a cowboy as Uncle Felix led him and Harry around the field. Yeehaw! Caillou galloped up to the barn. 
he was still having fun pretending to be a horse. That was such a fun ride! I really like Harry the horse! Caillou heard a funny noise. He wasn't sure what it was. What was that? A mommy pig! Look at all the babies! The pigs were bathing in the mud. Caillou went in to have a closer look. Baby pigs are called piglets. This is so much fun! As Caillou watched, Uncle Felix drove his red tractor. He was sad that he wasn't allowed to try. Why can't I drive the tractor, Mommy? Only grown-up farmers like Uncle Felix can drive tractors, Caillou. Mommy had an idea to cheer Caillou up. She pulled his favorite red tractor out of her handbag and handed it to him. Here you go, Caillou. It looks just like Uncle Felix's. Wow, your tractor looks just like mine. You'll be a farmer in no time. Yippee! In the barnyard, Caillou saw some chickens. He tried to catch them. Caillou liked watching the chickens. They pecked at the ground with their pointy beaks. One of them swallowed a worm. Yuck! Want to check the hen house, Caillou? Maybe the hen laid some eggs. Ta-da! Wow, Caillou! Excellent job! You're a great farmer! Caillou had lots of fun at the farm with Uncle Felix. He couldn't wait to come back and see all his animal friends again. Caillou's family was on their way to buy groceries, but Daddy drove right past the grocery store. Caillou was confused. Daddy, you missed the store! We're not going to the store today, Caillou. We're going to go somewhere called a farmer's market. What's a farmer's market, Daddy? It's a place where farmers bring all the things that they grow. Can we buy food there? Yes, lots and lots of food, Caillou. When they arrived, Caillou saw the farmer's market was very different from the grocery store. All of the food was placed on tables with a farmer behind each stall. Where did all this food come from, Daddy? The farmers grow the food at their farms and bring them straight here. It's very fresh. Caillou looked for bananas, but he couldn't see them anywhere. Mommy, where are the bananas? Well, Caillou, all of this food is grown nearby, but bananas only come from very far away. Bananas don't grow here? No, the bananas come from so far away that they need a plane to get all the way to the grocery store. Caillou liked thinking about bananas flying in a plane. <laughs> then Caillou remembered something. Strawberries can grow close to here. I've seen Grandma grow them in her garden. That's right, Caillou. But I don't see any strawberries. That's because it's spring. You can't eat strawberries until they're ripe, and they won't be ready until the summertime. There were more than just fruits and vegetables at the farmer's market. They walked past a cheese stand with lots of smelly cheeses. Caillou tried some that was made from goat's milk instead of cow's milk. He thought it tasted funny. Ugh. If there's goat's milk, that must mean there's goats nearby, too! I think there's one right over there, Caillou. Caillou had never been this close to a goat before. The farmer even let him feed the goat straight from his hand. <gasps> Is that lady a farmer, too? Her hat looks silly. She's a different kind of farmer. She raises bees and sells their honey. That hat stops her from getting stung by the bees. Caillou tried some of the honey on a stick. It was delicious. The farmer was so nice, she let Caillou try on her hat. How do I look, Rosie? <laughs> Funny! At another table, Caillou saw some long, skinny vegetables. Mommy, what are those? Those are asparagus. It's a vegetable. 
Asparagus. <laughs> That's a funny name. <laughs> Caillou liked the word so much, he said it over and over. Asparagus. Why don't we buy some? I have a wonderful recipe for asparagus soup. But I need one more vegetable, Caillou. Can you help me? What about those carrots? Ew! They're all covered in mud! That's because they have been pulled straight from the ground this morning, Caillou. Fresh from the farm. At home, Caillou washed the vegetables while Mommy cut them up. Then, they put all the ingredients they had bought in the blender. Would you like to push the button, Caillou? Yes, please! <laughs> At supper time, everyone had a bowl of the soup. Caillou had a taste, but he wasn't sure if he liked it. What do you think, Caillou? It's not as good as spaghetti, but it really was fun choosing all the vegetables. Well, you're going to have to finish your dinner if you want some dessert. Mommy brought out bowls of ice cream drizzled with the honey from the market. Caillou thought it was the best thing he'd ever tasted. Can we go back to the farmer's market again soon? Yes, Caillou. The next one is in the summer, so we can see what's in season then. Maybe they will have some strawberries!